today I am going to do a video on the extraction of the different lens feature from the Lancet images and I am doing it through the RGIS and using Lancet image in the process I am going to use is supervised classification and I have prepared a signature file so that I can use it in the ArcGIS so here in the screen you can see I am preparing for coordinate system here and after this I have to, I am going to show you a general process how to do a extraction of your area of interest from the Lancet image I have here composite band and you can see it here We have added all band here. So I am going to remove the repeated band 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I am removing this band quality assessment band too. And after this, I am going to do with default. So I am leaving it. simply it takes little bit time as it is a heavy data and after that we have to do uh, extraction of the area of interest for that what we have to do is you have to type here extract by max or clipper raster so it will appear here you can see it here after that you can see you have to input a raster from which you have to clip out your area of interest and the <coughs> vector data of your area of interest or the boundary data shape file data from where from uh, raster that part is clipped out or the extract out and you have to give it here and I have already done it so I am not going to doing it here and just giving a clue to do it here by this now after this you can check whether our process is going on as we are moving on or not you can see it is loading here so it takes little bit time more composite our band after this you 
you can see we have done our composition here after that you can remove this band and as I have previously mentioned that you have to clip out the area so I am I have already clipped out my area here so I am going to add that area of interest zone you can see it simply and my area of interest so now I am using this part I'm going to extract a river feature from here and you can simply see it by now I'm going to do maximum likelihood classification and I'm going to add my band here you can see it here as it is already added here so no need to add and I'm going to add my signature file that I have prepared and I have signature file is this and simply see it now I am going to do it simply going it with it if you haven't know how to do a, a to do a create or do a training sample extraction you can watch my another video land use land cover mapping in that part i have shown all the every necessary step for it so for now you can see we have get it and i am going to extract a river part as i have already mentioned so I'm going to reclassify this layer. You can simply see it. First of all, I can change the color as the river is quite good in blue color. I'm going to change it with little bit green color and this with this color and this is with dark forest you can see and i am going to extract this blue part of the water so i am going to reclassify it Where you can see this 32 value represent us a river value so I am going to assign it as 1 and other part is 0 and after this I am going to classify it you can see it here now after this you can just convert it into vector layer by raster to polygon and you can see it here you have to input your 
specify data from the land is land cover or from which data you have used you can edit and now after that you can go with simply with it you can go to selection of it by attribute table simply here a zero is other part and one is the river portion so you can go to select by attribute here simply and it's a raster tree reclassify Greek code equal to now you can extract this or export this in different file you can here and you can give it as it is a water body or the river body i am going to see give it a name is river body i'm going to save it as you have to define it what type of file you are going to shape so after that you can simply or do you want to add the exported layer in this interface so uh, for now i am going to show you which part i have extracted so i am going to do it as and now you can see the part we have extracted from here to you can see it here this is the river or the water body we have extracted you can simply see it here all the water body present here are represented here So oh, I am going to do a clear selection here and I am going to provide it a blue color simply this is color. And I am going to do it outline with two with the same color so it is more clearly visible here. Now you can keep it which color you like. You can see it, and we have done our extraction part. You can see we have extracted all the river body present in our area of interest here. So, with this, I am gonna end my video here. If you have any confusion over it you can comment down thank you keep watching